Hello and welcome to today's Gracie's Dreams Christmas special. Today we are going to make our very own hanging stars for the Christmas tree. So for today's workshop you will need four lolly sticks, some glue, some stickers and some string. So while you're waiting for your play specialist to get that, we are going to start with today's story, which is Olaf's Frozen Adventure. Olaf burst out of the Kranzakaka with pieces of cake made out of rings flying everywhere. Surprise! he shouted. Olaf, not yet, said Anna. Elsa smiled. The surprise holiday party starts after the Yule Bell rings. It was Arendelle's first holiday season in forever, and the two sisters would be spending it together with their kingdom. The castle courtyard was filled with festive townspeople. Everyone had been excited as Kristoff and Sven brought in the Yule Bell. Bong, bong, bong. The bell rang out and all of the villagers cheered, but then they started to leave. Going so soon? asked Anna. One woman replied, the Yule Bell rang, so I must go home for my family's tradition of rolling the luffs. Next, Elsa invited Mr and Mrs Olsen to the castle, but they also shook their heads. Thank you, but Olga and I need to get home to knit socks for our grandchildren. Old Roy smiled. We wouldn't want to intrude on your family traditions. With the villagers gone, the sisters needed cheering up. Kirstoff serenaded them with his holiday tradition from the trolls, the ballad of Flemingrad. Then Kirstoff revealed another troll tradition, Flemmy the Fungus Troll. Now, you lick his forehead and make a wish, <laughs> Kirstoff said. Everyone laughed. Olaf followed the sisters into the ballroom. He couldn't wait to hear what Anna and Elsa's holiday tradition was. Do we have any traditions, Elsa? asked Anna. Do you remember? <laughs> After the gates were closed, we were never together, Elsa replied. I'm sorry, Anna. It's my fault that we don't have a tradition. Olaf ran to the stable. Sven, Anna and Elsa don't have a holiday tradition. Then he had an idea. Let's go and find the best tradition Anna and Elsa have ever seen and bring it back to the castle. Olaf hooked Sven to Kristoff's sleigh and the two immediately set off. Olaf knocked on door of the first house they came to. What is your holiday tradition? Olaf asked a young boy and his mother. We make candy canes together. The boy handed one to Olaf. Olaf pulled out his carrot nose and popped in the candy cane. His eyes whirled. Oh, sugar rush! Olaf and Sven stopped at home after home to learn about different holiday traditions. They loaded all the traditions onto Sven's sleigh so they could take them back to Anna and Elsa. At their last stop, Olaf found the entire Oakland family celebrating in a sauna. Olaf thought that was a great idea and added a portable sauna to the pile. But the hot coals from the sauna caused problems. The sleigh caught fire and the traditions began to burn. When the sleigh went over the cliff, Sven and Olaf landed on opposite sides of the ravine. And the holiday traditions were gone. Olaf was still hopeful because he had one last tradition, a fruitcake, that he could give Anna and Elsa. But Sven was worried he could hear wolves howling in the dark forest. Back at the castle, Elsa found Anna in the attic, looking for traditions. She had been pulling items out of a trunk filled with her childhood belongings. What's in your trunk? asked Anna. Mostly gloves, said Elsa, but as Elsa reached inside her trunk, they heard a little bell ring. Elsa lifted out a small box and handed it to Anna. When Anna opened it, she couldn't believe her eyes. Suddenly, the two sisters heard a kerfuffle and ran down to the stables where Sven was trying to tell Kirstoff something. Olaf is lost in the forest, said Anna, and being chased by hungry wolves said Elsa. The sisters knew they needed to gather everyone in search of Olaf right away. Anna, Elsa and Kristoff Sven headed to the forest with a search party of villagers calling out Olaf's name. Suddenly, the sisters spotted a carrot sticking out of the snowdrift. Olaf! Olaf explained how he had lost all the traditions he collected for his friends, even the fruitcake which had been grabbed by a bird. I'm sorry you still don't have a tradition, 
the little snowman said. Olaf, we do look, said Anna. She opened the mystery box and showed Olaf what was inside. The box was filled with sketches Anna and had drawn of Olaf when she was a little girl. You're the one who first brought us together, said Anna, and kept us connected when we were apart, said Elsa. Every Christmas, I made Elsa a gift, Anna continued. Elsa nodded. All those long years alone, we had you to remind us of our childhood and of how much we still loved each other, Anna agreed. It's you, Olaf. You are our holiday tradition, said Anna. Surprise! Glowing lanterns emerged from the dark forest and the townspeople were relieved to see that Olaf was safe. That's when Elsa had a brilliant idea. Because this is was Elsa and Anna's first winter holiday in forever, the celebration needed to be special. With a little help from the villagers, they hosted their big party, after all, right there in the forest. Best of all, Anna and Elsa rediscovered their Christmas tradition and a new one was created for Arendelle, all thanks to Olaf. The end. Okay, for our first step to make our stars, we will need four lolly sticks. And now this is the part where you decorate them. I am going to use stickers, but you can decorate them with drawing or anything really. on starting from one side and then going on to another side with leaving a gap in the middle I'm going to do the same with another lolly stick Remember to leave the gap in the middle because we're going to stick the lolly sticks in between the gaps. Push this one over a little bit. Might make my gap a little bit bigger. There we go. Then I'm on to my next one. Now I'm on to my final lolly stick. For my final lolly stick, I don't really need to leave a gap. I can stick stickers all the way along.
now we need our glue. We are going to put glue in the center where we haven't put any stickers. And stick one lolly stick to that. Press down hard to try and stick it together. And then we're going to do the same with the gap there. We're going to put some glue. And then we're going to go this way. Push down. And then finally, we're going to put our last piece on. our star for our Christmas trees and then when you finish and the glue has dried so on this one the glue hasn't completely dried yet but I'm still gonna try and stick the string this is when you get the string or the wall tie it into a little loop so we can use it for hanging This is a fiddly bit. There we go. And then at the end of the loop, I'm going to put loads of glue. Like that. And then I'm going to stick it behind. it on mine's not completely glued down yet and then you will have your hanging star for the Christmas tree there's loads of different ways you can make it I hope you've enjoyed today's Grace's Dreams workshop